A level calibration is important, since if the level is not set correctly, the vehicle while driving could sit too high. Gear damage can result, since the angle of the drive shaft is too high due to the sloping position. Drive shafts and gears are worn out therefore due to the high strain. For the calibration, drive the Actros onto a level surface. Before you start, connect the battery to a battery charger. An external air pressure supply is also important because you'll need the full amount of air pressure for the work. With the trailer hitch vehicles, both upper fenders must be removed. You need the suitable spacer brackets. In the VIST document with this number, the dimensions are given for all vehicles and you should also find the order numbers. Take a look over the holder where the linkage is fastened. This is responsible for the high level sensor. It may not be bent. Now the manometers come into use. Connect the two manometers to both test connections in the vehicle. If the manometer clocks indicate a different value, this confirms that the Actros is not level. The pressure ratios are different on the left and the right. Now proceed with the calibration to the star diagnosis. In the selection choose commercial vehicle. Then confirm the automatic class entry with F3. After the data entry and the tips, you access the control device direct entrance. Confirm with F3. Now chassis number and mileage is indicated. Further with F2. In this list, you can select the rear module. Now click on Control Device Adjustment. Here you can open the menu for the level calibration. On this page, follow the safety tips. The list shows you once again everything that you have to follow. For example, make sure that you have the spacer brackets at hand. Are the tires okay? To examine this, do the coin test in the profile. The air pressure containers must be full. Confirm with F2. The following instructions are to be followed. Then the rear axle of the vehicle is raised. You can do this by pressing the F4 key briefly. Now the spacer brackets are fastened to the axles on both sides. The spacer brackets are held with a magnet on the vehicle frame. Lower the vehicle down onto the spacer brackets. To do this, press the F5 key accordingly. You recognize that the pressure from both pressure bellows dwindle. Hold the key until the vehicle lies on the spacer block. Then both manometer clocks must indicate approximately zero bar. Press F2. Now the driving level can be calibrated. Confirm with F2 and the values are stored. Next the upper final point must be calibrated. For this the rear axle must be raised up to the highest mechanical point. Hold the F4 key. With an unloaded vehicle, the pressure may reach no more than 2 bar. Watch the manometers. Confirm the process with F2. Now the upper final limitation can be calibrated. Confirm with F2 and also these values are stored. Now the spacer brackets can be removed from the drive axle. Lower the vehicle afterwards to the final point. Press and hold F5.
When the vehicle is completely lowered, the manometer must indicate about zero bar again. Next, the final lower limit is calibrated. With the activity, this value is also stored. Now the level calibration is finished, and with F3 you get back. Now you're in the menu control device adjusting again. The system must be programmed. Choose menu program. Follow the tips. For safety reasons, F5 must be repeatedly pressed after the start of the process. If the F5 key is not pressed, the process stops after 3 seconds. Observe the screen. There an announcement appears when the program is finished. Press OK. You finish the calibration with F2. Check afterwards the level of the stabilizers. With the correct level, it should have an angle of 90 degrees to the suspension. When you're finished with the calibration, don't forget to reset the headlights, the distance cruise control and the lane assistant.